All right. This is my first time trying the Dracula Digital Edition. Um, I have the board game the previous edition. This, the artwork looks like this is the most recent edition, so could be some changes. Learn to play. Hmm. I wonder if I just jump in and start going at it, what's going to happen? One versus mini game, all right. Thirteen influence points. All right, let's see. Dracula, Hunter, 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 okay. Seven regions. So, select a city. All right. Yellow is the railway, right? Wait a minute. The white and yellow lines. I remember one of the one of the trains works better than the other. Zoom button. That's it? Okay. All right. <laughs> Action bar. menu move pass reserve ticket action draws a train ticket rest okay special action Trade, okay, in the same location. <laughs> Item cards. Event cards. Three item and three events. Hmm. 
she has to always have one card revealed. Okay. So, like 11 health and 0 bites on him. Game clock. Current phase, alright. <laughs> okay, changes the color of the board. Here maybe? No, that's that's his points, that's what he's after. Level of despair. I don't remember that in the edition I played. select a region uh, all right we'll start over here the doctor I kind of imagined his portrait would look a little stronger than that. I don't know. Mina will start her up here. Okay, Dracula is controlled by the AI. That's what I was expecting. Five phases. One round consists of all five phases. Select the move action. Carriage, train, or boat. One space. Red lines. Uh, rail ticket. All right, so select the carriage option. Okay, we'll go there. Day phase, all right. All hunters are human controlled in this tutorial, so let's repeat this, okay. So we're still trying to move, right? Yep, move, carriage, Milan. And do it again, move, carriage. Once all the hunters have acted, 
dusk phase. Aggressive, okay. So, rail ticket. Reserving a ticket allows you to draw a new rail ticket. Uh, that moved before I read it. So you can have two tickets. Reserving more tickets than you can hold will require you to discard one. Gathering supplies. Supply, where was that? Down here. All right, so he got some garlic. Lord Goldeming gets to draw an extra item card. More items or events they have to discard. Okay. Choose the supply. A stake. All right. This time you've drawn a Dracula event card. When drawn in the night phase, these go directly to Dracula. Okay. Discarded. So be careful when supplying during the night, all right? Supply for her. <laughs> Yeah, Dracula moves to your location. Combat will start. Nice little transitions there. Dracula moves. Oh, right. Yep. Yeah, he leaves his trail. Six locations. So select move and carriage and so I'm just wondering why that one is gold. Is that where it wants us to go? Okay, so we're not ambushed. We've discovered a location. The closer the location revealed is to the first slot, which is to the left, the closer we are. Okay. Dracula is always at the first location. Shouldn't that be trail? Probably a typo there. So, yeah, he can't go back on his trail. I think there's a special card that lets him do that. John Seward. All right. Move. Carriage. and ability cards. Let's 
So wait a minute, she has the ability that allows her to discover if Dracula is in the same region. Okay. This can only be used if she is in the same location as another hunter on her turn. So we're going to move her to the same location as Dr. Helsing. Let's move in. Oh, move Van Helsing. Special. Okay, a message display showing the outcome. Dracula is in. Austro-Hungary. I remember the encounter cards, the traps. I have to select search. Reveal this card before you search. If you reveal a vampire, or hoax. Discard both this card and that card. So I guess that's the only some item cards are used to aid you. They must be declared as being used before the search. Alright, so Select stake. Two effects. The top effect counter is revealed. Aristocratic vampire. You cannot ambush with this card. The hunter can become delayed to discard this card. Reveal this location card. Advance the influence track by four. That's right, if it drops off the trail. Okay. That's right, it's called a mature effect. Right, okay. So the hunter allows the hunter to choose to become delayed to discard the encounter. All right. Counter is over, let's continue to hunt. So we're going to do pass. And why are we doing that? Just to try it out. And pass. Pass again. Stay again, we can continue to, to the hunt, move. All right. We can continue the hunt, move. Let's see, we don't have so many choices here. Do we need to use a 
train? Oh, it's it's right behind him. Gotcha. Couldn't see it. Rats. Uh, so this is a trap, I guess. The hunter suffers two damage. Return this card face up to this hideout. Unless the hunter reveals a pistol or a rifle. When a hunter discovers a new location on Dracula, can choose to ambush. Okay. Hmm. So two damage to him. <laughs> All right. I know this is a slow process, but it's my first time trying. Didn't even know this game was coming out. Just uh, spotted it by chance and said, ooh, and picked it up right away. So I'll be playing as both the Hunters and Dracula. Oh, okay, For just to show how combat works. Dracula is in Rome. So we're going to move Mina there. Dracula is revealed. All right. Um, I was checking something. I noticed I had a comment. And I'm trying to see how to get that to come through on my screen. Uh... Sorry about this. This is my first time setting this up. All right, I think I'm going to ignore that for the moment as far as the software on the computer. But I can read it on my tablet. Oh, hey, Mr. Lee. I was thinking of playing this game. Looks interesting. First time catching you live. Yeah. Thanks for dropping in and saying hello. When you said you were thinking about playing this game, you meant the board game or the digital? I didn't even know there was a digital. I just spotted it, I think, this afternoon. But I think this is a very recent release, uh, at least the digital one. Okay, now that we're in combat, we'll talk you through how combat works. 
Select card. Do we have any other cards? As a hunter, you always have dodge, punch, and escape. Okay. So... If you have any item cards, you'll be able to use them too. Uh, find and select punch. Right, let me look at these again if I can. Dodge. Escape. You're removed from the combat. Punch does one damage. Alright, so we'll select punch. <laughs> I like the artwork there. I mean, I'm giving him a... What is that? A left hook? It looks like a left cross. All right, Dracula selects his card. Claws. Um, two damage. Choose any hunter in this combat to suffer two damage. But he gets to select a card as well. Fangs. So he's not doing claws, he's doing fangs. Escape as a bat. I remember that card. Recover two damage. If it is night and the engaged hunter is mesmerized, then they are bitten. Otherwise, engaged uh, hunter suffers two damage. So we want fangs. Okay, Mr. Lee, the digital virgin. I'm just curious, how did you know it was coming out? I, I'm sort of out of the loop and was just lucky to spot it. I also picked up um, the digital version. I haven't even tried it yet of, uh, is it Game of Thrones? The board game, I always wanted to play that board game, but I didn't have anybody to play it with here in Japan. So it wasn't really one that I saw that you could do uh, solo. So I, I never picked it up. Um, but I've got the digital version and I'm going to try that at some point. I just, I've, I have it, but I haven't even started it up yet. So I advanced and kind of skipped over to this one because I have played the actual version of this and I have it over there on the shelf. Once the hunters and Dracula have chosen the cards, they are placed face down. Yeah, she starts with one bite. I remember that. The cards are revealed, and you see if, you're, if yours cancels that one. Let's see if we can punch him in the mouth. <laughs> I don't think so. Punch didn't work. All right. Let's see those cards in action. All right, uh, if the icon on the Dracula's card matches the icon, then Dracula's card is canceled. Yeah, I just, I don't think it did anything. Any cards that weren't canceled then resolve their effects, including combat damage. Now, see how you can't use the punch card this round. That's right, because we already used it. So we have to wait till the next round. So find and select dodge. All right, we'll select this one. So this gets us out of everything. Let's see, Mr. Lee, I saw advertisement on the web. Okay. So, three symbols. I wonder if this is like a rock, paper, scissors kind of thing. Um, Dracula has at least five cards in his...
his hand. Dracula can also use the plotting card. Hmm. Mesmerize. Search your combat deck for one card of your choice. Then place the chosen card in your hand. Keep this card face up until the end of combat. You may flip this card face down to cancel the engaged hunter's punch, dodge, or escape. So maybe that means she doesn't get away. Search the deck for escape as missed. This combat ends. Pride ability. Arkham Horror. I have quite a few board games um, for Arkham Horror, but not the card game yet. And I think we messaged each other about that. I've heard a lot of good things about the, uh, the card game and that it's great for solo play, I believe. I don't know what this pride ability is. Does it show us over here? No. Will be available for Dracula's next round. Okay. Combat can end in a number of different ways. Dracula plays six cards. Escapes. Or he advances his influence to 13, triggering a win. The hunters can also reduce Dracula to zero health in order to win the game and, and end combat. Combat will end also if all hunters in the combat are bitten, defeated, or escape. Speaking of escaping, let's try that. Find and select the punch card. So really, we want punch? <laughs> so escape is missed, but only if his pride ability is satisfied. I'm not sure what that is. Go back. All right, escape is missed. I clicked over something a little too fast and didn't read that one. Use plotting to cancel the hunter card, yes. So Mr. Lee picked up the LCG and it's awesome for solo. That's good. Highly recommend. Well, Christmas is always coming. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Remember, if you plan on taking down Dracula, you'll need to be prepared for combat. Continue game. All right, so this this will probably take me a couple of playthroughs, if not several, to really get a hang of. But uh, I like what I'm seeing so far. So 
So if the tutorial lets us continue... Yeah, Dracula is here. We know he's there. So there are trains, but let's see what happens if I, I thought if I clicked on him, I could see something. It is his turn. Maybe, maybe it's a time of... Let's see, we have to be careful searching in the night or something. The search action reveals an encounter card if searched in the location on Dracula's trail. What? Uh, confirm action. No. Supply is what I wanted. Sense of emergency. So can I go back to him and check out what that is? Play as an action during the day. Suffer two damage and move to a city up to three roads away. Okay. All right, now we're to the doctor. Now I can sort of play around with the different things and see how all of this is going to work. By the way, Mr. Lee, I was looking at Ant-Man for the Marvel Champions and doesn't look like I'll be able to get it here from the channels I'm looking at at least not right away I'll, I'll eventually try to get my hands on that but it might be into next year before I can get it here let's have him supply too wax cylinders I kind of want to know what those do only Dr. Seward can play this card deduction choose a hideout Dracula choose a hideout Dracula must reveal all encounter cards in that hideout analysis Dracula reveals the hide power from either the location deck or the trail. Then return this card to your hand. The location deck or the trail. Okay. Maybe we'll get him a ticket or something. Draws a train ticket. And we're back to Mina. She's down to seven and one bite. Wonder if I ought to try the Well, what can I do? We've already fought once. Um, can, <laughs> can she rest? So what happens if she supplies garlic wreath? Hypnosis. This is the game clock. The 
The phases are dawn, day, dusk, and night, and the Dracula phase. The day and night phases are the only phase in which you can take actions. During the dawn and dusk phase, the hunters fight with Dracula if he is revealed. The Dracula phase is Dracula's turn. Okay. So it's going to let us play as Dracula, too. Let's see, Mr. Lee says, is it hard to get board games in Japan from the U.S.? Uh, sometimes it's rare. Sometimes I've been able to get them here. I've actually been able to get some of the... Uh, when I started my YouTube channel years ago, get some of the Dungeons and Dragons board games here, and it actually came with a um, a little language pack. Uh, I think it was either put in the box or taped to the back of the box, and it was they had everything translated uh, into Japanese, and. That was really neat. I don't know if they're still doing anything like that. But that was just the Dungeons & Dragons board games back at that time. Like Wrath of a Shardalon, and Castle Ravenloft. Um, later on, I tried to get Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition here. And it was priced at like $220 or something. And... Uh, I don't remember what the exact cost was in the United States, but I know it wasn't that. So uh, I passed on getting that from here. So I can get it, uh, order some things uh, from the United States. Honestly, usually Amazon has the best shipping rates for me. It, it still gets expensive, but sometimes I'm essentially paying the cost of the game twice to get it here um, but if I order from a place directly sometimes the shipping is just incredible like one time I wanted a set of cards for um, I think it's legendary the the other Marvel comic game and I, I it was the, one of the first things I ever bought for it first expansions it was the Fantastic Four and just to get that little set of cards, which may have cost 15 or $20, they were going to charge me $100 shipping to get it here. So I passed on that and eventually got it later. But uh, yeah, it can be hard to, to get things here at a reasonable price sometimes. And sometimes I just have to give up. I have to say, well, I can't get that one. And uh, I have to to move on and look for something else. So D and D board games, yeah, Wrath of a Shardalon is probably still my favorite, just because that's the one I started with and started my YouTube channel with. Um, Mad Mage. I know there were like two that came out that I don't have. And it's the most recent two. Uh, Mad Mage may be one of those. And was it Tomb of Annihilation? Maybe the other. I don't, I don't have either one of those. Let's see. What can Dracula do? Uh... We want to keep building influence, right, as Dracula? Yeah, shipping is sometimes just out of control, it seems. Let's move. All right, so he can get there in one space. I'm just interested to see if he can get on the sea. Choose an encounter card. 
the vampire, the hunter fights this vampire. Other hunters in the location may become delayed to participate in this combat. And then if this falls off the trail and matures, I think, reveal this location card, advance the influence track by three. Bodyguards. Saboteur, the hunter becomes delayed. Rats. Uh, why don't we try rats? It's just nice and simple. All right, so Dracula is hidden, hidden in the shadows. Hunter should continue to search to find and destroy before his influence grows too strong. Each time Dracula moves to a new location, the R card is added to the first spot on the trail. That is always his current position. All right, so just to see what happens, we have to finish our turn. And he gets to move. And he's got, I thought he had tickets, but I could be wrong. Let's move down here. Can he? Carriage? Yeah. And I can't can't remember. I don't think we can move. Is that right? Can the hunters move by boat as well? I think I think they can. Yeah, he's he's got, he's got to or he's stuck. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's get him on a boat, just see how this works. And sort of playing against myself here. She knows where he is. So what happens if we, if we go there? She's going to have that encounter. Dracula has been revealed. Okay. A hideout on the trail's been discovered. The closer. Right. Encounter cards. To reveal the encounter card, use the search action on that location. Ambush with the encounter card. Card invoked. So maybe he has the option whether to activate it or not. Yeah, she's down to five. All right. Um, so are we heading into combat again?
until the end of the combat after you suffer damage from fangs the vampire suffers four damage cancel and discard this card if claws is resolved against you okay card invoked All right, let's try this out again. So I think I am playing both parts, so this is a little silly, but let's try our punch. Dracula, select a card and I'm curious. Let's let's try this and see if that garlic kicks in. Fangs, punch. So that I think normally would have been a good choice, but she's got the garlic. So yeah, he took he took damage. And <laughs> she punched him too. All right. Um, she's going to select dodge. And let's see how it works against. Um, I was looking for claws. OK, so I don't always have everything in my hand. It's kind of a random draw. I feel like this is different from the edition of the game that I have. The engaged hunter suffers two damage if they played punch, crucifix, or a weapon. Let's let's try strength here. So, can she cancel this? Yes, it does cancel his card. She only has three health left. Getting out of there is probably the safe thing to do. So, let's say we did that. And what would Dracula do? I'm interested to see I'm interested to see what mesmerize is. Cancel the hunter's combat card. That hunter is mesmerized. Let's let's see what it does. So it does not, she did not cancel his, so she couldn't get away. All right, uh, she'll try to dodge again. And I'm not really thinking <coughs> that he wants to get out. I'll take a look at that plotting again. Look for my claws card or something. Yeah. Escape is miss fangs. Let me get a claws card. So she still wants to get out of there. 
So she's going to try to escape. And he's going to try his claws. Use the plotting card to cancel the hunter's card. Uh, I think no. I don't think I have to. Because hers doesn't cancel his. She's going to take damage, right? Yeah. Ooh, how did I hit her again? I'm not sure how that happened. Alright, this is the influence tracker in Dracula and is Dracula's victory condition. The influence increases when encounter cards mature and when he wins combat. Okay. So that's how it works. You've got to get cards matured or win in combats. Now, I don't think she's dead dead, is she? I thought I remembered she could, um, like, make a return at the church or something. Let's see. He's going to... What time is it now? It's night. Local rumors. Dracula must reveal all location cards in hideouts adjacent to your current location. Okay. All right, let's, uh, can't move. Does he have any tickets or anything? I don't see any. All right, so that does show up here. He's on the ocean, so he's going to have to just read a book on the boat. Okay, so let's see what happens here. You are currently defeated. Um... So there was nothing else she could do? Guess not. All right, Drac. Let's head out to the ocean. Wait a minute, did he just take damage? thought there was something about taking damage on the boat. I can't remember what that rule is. Maybe it's like a limited blood supply or something. I can't remember. There's something that moving by the ocean. I thought it was like once every two spaces or something he took a point of damage. Yeah, she's now in the hospital. That's what I thought. All right. Uh... 
train. It's not going to get him so far here. He can go on a boat, though. Let's get him out in the Mediterranean. And he's got to go here. So she is there. So she's back up to full health. Um, so she can, I guess, try to keep chasing him down and fighting him, but if she keeps losing, she's going to keep giving him points on his track. So she needs to be better prepared. She's got a stake. And what did he have? Sense of emergency. Um he's gonna get a ticket. So I thought everybody had a special ability of some kind. Is there no way I can check that? Okay. You have to click down there. When you or another hunter in your city rests, they recover two damage. You can have four items prepared. Uh, and Helsing, when you trade, instead of items, you may choose to trade event cards with a hunter in any city. Uh, you have two byte spaces. When you trade, instead of item cards, you may choose to trade event cards. I have to try that one out and see, see how that works. As an action, if you are in the same city with another hunter, you can tell what region. You always have one byte token and are always weakened. You must keep one item and one event card revealed. So maybe you can play this online uh, with other people and you know, have a group of hunters coming after another player playing Dracula, maybe. Let's see, after a hunter is defeated, you get two points. All right, here's pride. Uh, if the, if Dracula plays either escape is missed or escape is a bat before he has played a number of combat cards greater than the number of despair tokens on the time track. The card is canceled. Despair. The number of despair tokens on the time track. Where do we see that? While all three despair t tokens are on the time track, each time you place a city location card or hide on the trail, advance your influence. Despair tokens. I don't remember those. When you supply, you draw two cards instead of one. When you reserve a ticket, gain two ticket instead of one. Okay. And he's on the boat. He'll have to pass. Uh, so shh. Am I like forced to supply? Oh, 
we got a pistol. <clears throat> Choose a card to reveal. Um... Let's reveal our stake. So these despair things, where where do I find that? So these are all Dracula's cards here. New vampire, bodyguards, saboteur, okay. that or we didn't not sure what that is so one thing I'm confused about is this despair token thing I'm not really sure what that means well I've learned quite a bit about how this is is going to play like I said, I probably need to go through a game or two or three to get a real hang of it. But it's very late for me. Time for me to head to bed. I appreciate everybody watching. And thanks for uh, putting up with such a slow stream. Take care, everybody. And... I'll catch you another time.